morning guys killer b here um been a while since i put a video out i know i'm trying uh bait's been pretty tough blue cat fishing this year um just one of those things man it's uh the bait struggle you know february every year about this time really have a rough time acquiring bait so uh maybe the new kayak will help with that i can get out there and throw net some bait out of the kayak and and uh, hit some of those deeper holes so what i wanted to show you guys today uh some real good friends of mine brad at fish bites rod holders uh, they built me this rod holder for this old town big water and i had to come up with a way to mount it this whole thing's probably like five pounds as you can see here and it's aluminum it's welded so what I came up with for this kayak is this right here. You can look and see the upgraded heavy aluminum rails for this kayak. I ended up having to cut one right there for the mount. This is hard polymer that's screwed directly into the kayak right there and right there. You can look under here maybe you can see it the bottom plate right there and the screws coming out where that bottom plate is connected this is the top plate that the fish bites rod holder comes comes with there and it's very simple to remove and get out of your way you just unscrew these here put them out of the way take your rod holder stick it on there screw these in right well, get the washer on there it's hard to do one handed guys you'll have to forgive me my fine motor skills aren't what they used to be getting older, older now there we go and they screw right in then you take your open ended wrench or your socket and tighten it down. I won't bore you with all that, but I wanted to show you how I mounted it to this kayak. So you can see the, there's rails on that side. See, it was a full length rail just like that. These are upgrades that you can buy. Uh, I believe Navarre Kayak Fishing sells them. Uh, they're stainless i mean uh excuse me they're aluminum rails heavy duty this is heavy duty thick polymer there you don't have to worry about it coming off the kayak it's screwed in with uh, uh brass inserts inside the kayak on those they came originally with these here it's the the same polymer and everything like that but it's it doesn't even have a rail on it you can see right there so I just upgraded those for my camera mounts and whatnot that I needed to do but you can see three rods right there and if you want to see these in action I've got some videos where they just perform on big fish you don't not have to worry about that thing moving I don't have it tightened I'll tighten it down for you with a deal but it's not gonna go anywhere you can see it's freaking there man that polymer won't even flex on that deal. And with the rods I use, it's like 15 pounds of drag. <laughs> yeah, it ain't coming off. But uh, let me tighten it up for you and I'll show you. You can call the guys at Fish Bite Rod Holders, Brad or his dad. Um, great guys, man. Um, they sent me another rod holder that we're going to preview in the same video for my new canoe. It's a little bit taller and I think it's going to make it even better on that platform that new canoe over there you can see it's covered up right now but we'll get to that here in a minute um, let me tighten these down for you so you can take a look at what that looks like but that's all there was to it guys all I did to fab this right here was screw some holes I epoxied this on this bottom plate here see that's that top plate goes into the bottom plate They've got it pre-tapped and everything like that. And there's a bottom plate underneath there. 
you can see right there where it's screwed down through there and bolted on and it's perfect position to reach down and grab them rod holders out of your kayak you can run three rods at once right here on this hell I guess you could even put one on the other side get you a plate and do the same thing I fish mainly out of the left hand side of the kayak because I'm right handed so when I'm drifting I can just reach down with my left hand and pick up on those rods but great system man I've looked for it for a long time I have really caught a lot more fish using this system uh, the plastic ones that come for these things they'd rods just get hung up in them and everything else and you really miss some bites because you really don't I don't crank down on the reels on this thing I just lift up with steady pressure when I get a bite but that's it let me tighten it up all you do to tighten it up you got that washer right there get your socket and I love it because you can take this thing on and off like if you're offshore fishing you don't need rod holders or whatever you're doing you want this stuff out of your way you don't have to unscrew the whole thing just the top section right there and it's completely out of your way but you can see once I've tightened up on that thing it ain't going anywhere guys it doesn't even flex I mean I'm really putting a lot of pressure on that thing and that it's great because the whole thing kind of just flexes a little you can see it flex right there but I'm probably putting I don't know 25 30 pounds of pressure or better on that rod holder and it's just not going anywhere it's a great system the guys at fish bites really have it figured out I wanted to show this because they have a lot of questions from guys on how to mount these to kayaks and every kayak is different uh, the way you're gonna see here shortly this new canoe I had to come up with a completely different way to fab it up but I think it's going to also be just as effective as this. This has been great. I've caught a lot of big fish on these things since I put them on. But just not going anywhere. And then to remove it, it's as simple as putting it on. Just loosen these up. I love this system man love it it's so cool to have stuff that you can pull on take off in the way that I do it so this is all Cerakoted they do that at fish bites for you if you want them to or you can Cerakote it yourself doesn't weather I've even got the bolts on this Cerakoted I've got a buddy up at work that Cerakotes pull it off and then the way that I, I do it is I put my screws right back in there once it's out. If that bothers you, you don't even have to put them back in there. You can just store them with that and then have a very flush mounted deal right there that's not in your way. It's Cerakoted all down in there. And I pulled these on off, had them both ways. But that is it. So I use some epoxy, some heavy duty epoxy in here just to shear this up. I don't even think you need it really. These, these screws right here go all the way down through and into that. And they're bolted on with lock washers on this bottom plate right here, as you can see. But that thing is not going anywhere. Once you put it on there, and it is as simple as that. Sticking it on. Great system that Brad his dad came up with. And I dropped the washer somewhere. I'm going to have to do the old search and find for my washer I heard it ding on the ground right here but I'll find it here in a second anyway that's how I do it on this kayak every kayaks different so you have to fab stuff up 
for each individual kayak unfortunately that's just the way it is there's a lot of different brands out there and you want this thing secure so you have to figure out a way that it's going to be secure because you're you're playing with fish 50 plus pounds they can really make a mess of your kayak so best system that I've found so far for uh, it's increased my hookup ratio tremendously because these rod holders here set at 30 degrees and it just comes out so smooth when you lift up on the front of the rod it's perfect it sets the hook every time so super happy with it we'll move on to the new canoe here in just a second guys all right guys here is the new boat you can see this one's registered with TX numbers. It's a new canoe Frontier 12. I'll cover it so you guys, I think I've did a video of it before. I just want to show you what we fabbed up. See, you put the outboard right there on it. It's got a lot of rails in it as well. But what I fabbed up for this one, for this T-Bar, and I told Brad I was going to post a video on the way, different ways that I fabbed these up, though. It was right there. So there's my seat. There's the rod holders. You can see this one's a little taller, but still only weighs about 10 pounds, maybe, the whole deal. It's lightweight aluminum with those big rod holders. And the way that I fabbed this up, you see the seat rail? This kayak is made where a seat, actually it can take two seats and it's got a rail all the way down both sides. So to make this mobile and be able to pull off when you're fly fishing or doing something else, came up with this and then you can slide it up and down the rails. How you do that is these T-bolts right here with the hand cranks on the handle. You can see them right there. You do the same thing with these. I've got the screws for this on the way in right now from Yak Attack on Amazon. And what they'll do, I got two inch ones and they'll have these little knobs that crank down. It sets flush on the deck. It's not going to go anywhere. You know why I know it's not going to go anywhere is because at one point I weighed 280 pounds and could sit on this and torque it, and move it, and everything else, and it never went anywhere. It screwed all the way down the kayak, and it's super, super stout. Hadn't fished with it yet, but I'm sure it's going to work like a charm. It sits flat on the on the gunnel there, and you can screw it down tight. I'm probably going to do two, one there, and one there, one there, and one there, where I can tighten it up. But pull it off when you're not using it, put it back on when you're using it. Pretty cool, huh? So, to show you guys how I fabbed this up, these are two big pieces of heavy polymer right here. And these actually came off of uh, a uh, Old Town Big Water. They were the side pieces there. I had replaced them with the heavy duty aluminum rails, as you can see on the last part of the video. These were the old ones that came off sandwiched them together they've already got the rail system installed right there and right there bolted them together there and there had my buddy Kerry at work he's pretty handy oh Kerry so he milled out this bottom piece of polymer for me that's the bottom plate well the bottom plate had it where screws would come through and you had to bolt it down so what Kerry came up with he just made another plate, threaded four new holes where they direct thread in, and then we lock tighted it in there. And that's it. So it works just like the other one. See this bottom plate right here? That bottom plate right there is where the screw holes are going down through that. And then the top of the T-bar just mounts on these screws just like the other one right there and then you got your rod holders there this one's two inches taller than the other one the problem with the other one was I had to bend way down to get the rods well not with this one it's it sets up there nice and tall and that thing's gonna be solid as sears on there once it's done and like I said you can slide it wherever you want 
move sides with it whatever like I said this is the left hand side of the kayak I've got my anchor trolley there installed and most of the time I fish out of the left hand side of the kayak so I like my stuff right there but I love it because you can pull it close to you if you want it right up there and get it as close as you want to the seat I'm thinking probably right in there is where it's going to live of course I'll turn this rod holder out that way and then turn those a little more that way to get the spread that I need but that's it that's how I got it rigged up for this kayak like I said all of them are different but if you're kind of half handy you can figure out a way to mount them to anything that's going to be solid and like on my last kayak you could move that thing around torque it and everything and put a lot of weight on it, it wasn't going anywhere just solid going to be the same way on this one because these rails are flushed in with threads all the way down the kayak there all right guys i got the t-bolts installed there you can see i got four of them they're two inch they go all the way through the rails this thing is pretty solid it's not moving around the kayak flexes there but it's made to flex a little bit show you guys what we're working with here to install this on the rail system it's cool man because you just loosen them right here watch this All right. and you can slide this thing up and down the rail see that there get it where you want it tighten them down They're just T-bolts that go all the way through to the rail right there. This polymer just tightens down. That's it. These are two inch T-bolts. Guess I probably need to show you guys what a T-bolt is. There's the T-bolts. These are two inch, made by Yak Attack, that slide right into the rail there. And these have brass inserts. These have brass inserts right there, you can see. And they just screw onto right there. Kind of one-handed it there. That's it. The bolt slides into the to the rail like that. That's it. So to mount it, you just lay your screws out. Get your deal, line it up there, stick it on there. It's mounted. That is it. Then you just put these uh these knobs on. Position them where you want them. Tighten it up. Get it nice and tight on there. It's not going to be moving around. There we go. Same thing on this end. to do one-handed guys much easier when you got both hands to work with get this thing where you want it tighten it down they're all tight it's on there good yeah it ain't going nowhere 
Now moment of truth. I've got a couple of my catfishing rods. This is what I use, Abu 6500s. They got about 15 pounds of drag at max drag. Make sure these drags are tightened all the way up, which it is. Is this how I fish with them? Fish with them all the way tight. Ah, yeah, that one's all the way tight. Stick one in the rod holder there. Make sure this one's tight. Oh yeah, it's tight. Stick this one in the rod holder here. So that's how I fish with them, right there. We're not only gonna pull one, we're gonna pull two of them at once here, full drag, and see how they do. This thing is really stable. It flexes a little bit, but it's, that kayak's made to flex right there. So let's go over here. These are set up exactly as I'd fish with them with the demon dragons here. We're gonna grab two of them. There you go, you can see the lines and the rods. Okay, we're gonna pull. That's 15 pounds of drag with two rods and they're just stripping drag. Here, I'll zoom in so you guys can see them. Very impressed. Okay. I don't know if you can hear them or not, but they're just stripping drag. So that's full torque. Like if you've got two big fish to hit at once, and it's just pulling. Let's do it again where you can see it. Not a problem. That is good stuff right there. That's the result we're looking for. And you can see the rod holder is still nice and tight. It ain't going anywhere. I'm putting a ton of, ton of pressure on it there. These didn't come loose. That one came a little loose there. But you just need to get it tightened up. Might not have had it all the way tight. But not going anywhere, guys. Solid. Done. That's awesome. Anyway, contact Brad and his dad at Fish Bite Rod Holders and get yourself one. Pretty cool. If you guys are looking for a good deal on some awesome rod holders, uh, a system that you can pull on and off a kayak whenever you're using it and get it off there when you're not using it, this is it, man. This is the best that I've found. Uh, Fish Bite T-Bars. They're made of aluminum, made right here in America. Brad and his dad will take care of you, man. I promise they've taken care of me. They're really good dudes. They don't pay me, no endorse this stuff. It's just good American-made product with good dudes that uh, stand behind their stuff. So, till we can go catch some fish on this thing, killer be out.